Hey, it's Rick Sipes with ESPN the Magazine. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm across the street from the Staples Center. I'm getting all fired up. I'm about to go to the Clipper game and interview their number one fan, Clipper Daryl. <laughs> You've been season ticket holder. Seven years, and I haven't missed a game. How many lozenges have you gone through in seven years? Man, a whole bunch of them. Tell me this. This is honest. Is the Clipper curse back, man? I hope not, but I, I think we're going to be okay. I think he's going to be short of little signs of it. You think the Clipper Nation is still behind the team, or are they giving up a little bit? A little bit, but you know. Once we, you know, once they see that the, the energy is out there, combination is come. They come together. All right, is there are there like sleepless nights for you on this? Oh yeah, all the time. Really? I think I think right now, if we can get if we can get a good push, oh yeah, we could have a good good, good run for the playoffs. And, you know, towards the end of the season, and, and we start winning some games. Did you just say playoff push for this year in the Western oh, yeah. Conference? We can. Come on. We we fourteen games back. We got oh, only fourteen, and we got thirty one games left. Mathematically, we're not out. So there's hope. Now one more question for Clipper Daryl. All right, hey, uh, any of the Clippers ever ridden in this? That's my secret. All right, well let me in, man. Pretend I'm Chris Kamen or something. Let's go for a ride around the block. Let's go. Over 15 years ago, I got fired from a job, and the guy told me I'll never amount to nothing without him in life. Um, so you know how. You get fired, you go home, and you feel sorry for yourself. And that's what I did. I went home and felt sorry for myself, and I turned the, I turned the TV on. Clipper game came straight on, and uh, they was and it was ironic because they were saying the same thing about them: how horrible they was, how they amount they wouldn't amount to anything in life. Um, the ownership was horrible, and I said, "This is gonna be my team, and we're gonna rise together." I already told, I already told, I already told my wife, my kids, when Daddy died, when your husband died. I want to be buried in a red, half red, half blue casket.